It is I, Rebel Without a Cause, and today I'm going to show you my ESS goggles, the replica versions from China, and the modification I have made on them. Let us begin. If you take a closer look, you can see I have put a different fan on it. The old fan, though it looked nice on the goggles, really did not make me happy. It personally did not push air worth crap. So I played two games and the fogging got really bad. So I'm going to show you the modification I've made. This fan I have picked up from Hobby Town USA, right down the street from my store. It is, I believe, a 16 or 19 millimeter fan. Let me show you exactly what it is. This is actually the exact fan that I have installed. I purchased two because I thought it might actually not be good enough with one, but it actually is. It only cost me $8.99 and I believe that is a Japanese fan. These are the specs on it. Oh, but look, it says made in China, so that cannot... I don't know. I don't know. But this fan is really good. Only $9. I also got myself a little Fubata replacement part. The SWJ series mini switch. What I have done just to make things a little bit more easier for me is I've installed these connectors so I can always disconnect everything and remove it. What I have done is I've installed the fan using these what are these zip ties small zip ties. I removed the old fan and put these in. Then I have stretched the wire from here, from here down to up here, underneath, over, because I connected the hook here. As you can see, I can easily just remove it in case I want to remove the parts without having to cut the wires. So that is like that. It stretches from the bottom. I have zip tied it. And it goes over here to my switch, which is right there. Then the wire also stretches from the bottom. It goes here and then it goes through the goggle, the, the band, and then it comes here. I can also disconnect it here. And then it goes into my motor housing, which is right here. This piece right here is just a extra piece I had lying around from uh, my motors, like my a AEG motor. So I just put it on to give it a little bit of grip. This utilizes two AA batteries. However, it, they are special AA batteries. They are not your standard 1.5 volt. They are the Li LIFO rechargeable batteries. Even though they are double A sizes, they are actually put out 3.7 volts each. So I have a total of 6, 7.4 volts going into this. I tried to just install this fan with the stock housing, which ha housed one battery but it did not power it. It was not enough power. So I had to remove everything and start from scratch. You can do this on any other goggles. I have also done this modification on my flak jacks. In fact, they actually fit better on the flak jack arena goggles. However, my outfit is all black. So I would like to have all black goggles. I really like the way these look. So the switch, as you can see, this one here that I purchased the, for $10 is right here. 
So all I do is switch it up and it turns on. Let us listen. I am putting it right up to the mic. And then I can switch it off. Very nice. I have not tried these goggles yet, but I will try them at my next game. And I will update you how to do it. I also have another video on rever how to reverse the polarity on your SS ESS goggles. So you can check out my other video for that. But quite honestly, even after reversing polarity and all that, it was not enough air for me. The fans, blades were really not designed well and they are very small. Also, when you turn it on high, which I had to do because the low setting wasn't pushing enough air, it seemed like there was a vibrating dildo on my forehead. Very uncomfortable, very loud. So that's why I made this modification. So I hope this has helped you. Once again, it's a rebel without a cause. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I am here to help you guys and uh, to also help you in your teching adventures. Take care. Bye-bye.